Good morning, this is Cash from Cash Data Consulting LLC. Today we are going to be looking at Moz Pro. This is a tutorial. We're gonna cover some of their top features. Um, today we're gonna to start with feature number one. So let's jump right into it. Happy New Year, I know it's been a couple of weeks. But who is Moz? And the artist formerly known as SEO Moz, right? So Moz is actually one of the leading companies online marketing, digital marketing companies in the world. I mean, they're really one of the pioneers, uh, really. No, really. Okay, here's the website right there, moz.com. Um, they have a great website. They have a great blog, a YouTube channel. But today, we're going to really focus on their top three features. Well, today, we're just going to focus on one that we use at uh, Cash Data Consulting. So really, in my opinion, one of their top features is, you know, information on domain authority, which is sometimes also known as DA. Um, there's gonna be a lot of links that I'm gonna be sharing in this video. So they're gonna be in the bottom, in the video description. Um, they're certainly, you know, gonna be in the video, but feel free to check them out. Add your comments. I mean, if you are using uh, Moz or SEMrush or um, one of the other tools, you know, go ahead and leave your comment or questions, okay? So let's uh, keep going. Um, before I really get into domain authority, you know, what is the Moz domain authority anyway? By the way, this is not a Google metric. Uh, some people confuse this. Uh, my former, my students at Collin College where I teach sometimes think this is something from Google. It is not. It's a Moz domain authority metric, okay? It's a, it's a you know, range between one and 100, okay? Um, according to Moz, the domain authority, what is domain authority anyway? So domain authority, really, I think it's two things. Number one, it captures the quantity, right, and quality of your backlinks. In case you forgot, backlinks are from another website. You know, somebody's talking about you and they, they're linking to you, right? The links are coming back to you. That's a backlink, okay? Uh, the higher the quality and quantity of links, the higher your Moz domain authority is going to be. The other thing that's really important for Moz Domain Authority is it predicts your search, you know, your search engine ranking, okay? And, you know, how well are you on the search engine? Now, why can, you know, how do we use this? Or I guess, why do we really need to use Moz DA, which is sometimes, you know, it's called DA. So you want to know how well, number one, you or your client are doing with SEO overall and your link efforts against your competitors, right? If this is your competitor and this is where you are, you certainly want to be, you know, enhancing your efforts so you move up in the search ranking. That's, I mean, the ultimate goal, right? And you also, uh, if you are doing link building campaigns or you're trying to, you know, maybe you're a new business, right? If you're a new business, you got to go, you know, you, you know, you got to hustle basically and put content out there and try to generate some more links. This is another reason why we recommend using this great tool. Okay, so enough chatter. Let's talk about this. Um, you know, you can check uh, the domain authority for free, and we're also going to cover Moz Bar here shortly. So let me switch. I'm using a couple of browsers here. So, for example, this link right here, uh, <clears throat> moz.com slash domain analysis, right? This is where you are going to, you know, basically find out your, your domain authority. So we were just doing a quick search here today. Uh, on uh, best cosmetic dentist in Dallas. Let's say if I decided to go in business for that, I'm just going to pick a random website here. So it looks like Susan Fowler. I like that last name. She's doing really well on that for that particular term. I'm going to simply grab this URL, right? Go back to this one and go ahead and put that in there. Put it in the website. You can put it in your website too, obviously. And you're going to analyze the domain, okay? This is going to do its thing, and there you go, right? It's it's giving you domain authority, uh, which is number 18, which is not bad. These are the linking domains. I'm actually going to put in one of my websites that we own at Cash Data Consulting, and so it's learningcomputer.com, and then, you know, let's check that one. It's been around for a while. <laughs> it's an IT, you know, related company. So that domain authority is 31. So what does that mean in terms of, you know, not that we're comparing the dentist, our link profile and learning computer is better than Susan Hollers. I mean, no offense, but that's just, you know, that's kind of like the, the take. Now, I do want to switch to this other browser and kind of show you one more thing. If I search for, let's say, learning computer, or let me do this, actually. Uh, <clears throat> 
let me try best cosmetic dentist in Dallas. Let me try that query again. Well, you will see up here on the top right, you can see this little M. It's almost matching my color of the shirt, which is random. But if you scroll down, here's what I want you to see. It, it is actually telling you right in your search results what is the page authority, that's PA, domain authority, link profile. I mean, it's very useful. And why is this working in this particular browser? Because we have the Moz bar extension that we enabled, okay? And there you go, Susan, Susan um, Holler again, you know, you can see her domain authority is 18. So it actually not only gives you for one site, it's really giving you, you know, domain authority for everybody. So this is great. If you kind of want to scan your, um, you know, your, um, what do I want to say? Sorry, your competitors, okay? Well, enough chatter, but let's go into Moz Pro, right? That's what we're really talking about here. So, you know, what what can Moz Pro do for you, okay? And how can it help you boost your domain authority and SEO ranking? But there's many things you can do. Obviously, you can check your domain authority. We already kind of showed you that. But let's, you know, let's spy on your competitions, okay? Uh, for learning purposes, you know, we are going to be, you know, using cosmetic dentists in Dallas, like I showed you. But what, what we really use it for is that, you know, for our clients, okay, we have a pediatric dentist in Allen, which is uh, next to Plano. We live in Plano. How can it help you? Okay. So let me jump into the browser again. I believe I have this already. So let's check it out here. So if I go into my campaigns, uh, sorry, I got a few links open here. So I'm already logged in, right? I'm logged into it. This is my my account. Uh, this is a dashboard, what they call all your campaigns. So these are most of our clients that we are managing. But uh, let's go ahead and click on this particular client, okay? Like I mentioned, they're a pediatric dentist. Uh, you know, and we already did this work. So you, you will have to spend some time, I guess, you know, putting in your com competitors and all of that stuff. We all, but we already have three competitors in here. Okay, and it's showing you, you can see that, you know, KPD is the aquamarine one. It's it's slight, It's moving up in the right direction, actually. It's definitely not going down. This one on the bottom is going down. But what I want you to learn from here is you scroll down. This is really the area that we are interested in, okay? So see where it says domain authority and then competitor. So if I click on this, right, this is really useful information. Why? Because, look. Kids Pediatric Dentistry, their domain authority is 21. Allen Pediatric Dentistry, right, which is, I believe, this is, yeah, this is one of their competitors, okay? You know, theirs is 22, and then Jupiter is down at 12, Jupiter Dentistry, um, right? But there's other information in there. There's spam score, there's links. Uh, it also shows you, you know, how the links are moving up and down. You can see that um, their external links right there, you know, kids pediatric dentistry is doing the best, so they're moving up, which is what we want. Their internal links are also high. What would be an internal link? That would be a blog, right? Let's say you write a blog and you're, you know, you're publishing that, you're interlinking your blogs, which is, again, another good SEO strategy, right? So uh, keep that in mind. And then obviously, like I said, you can you can kind of, you know, there's tons of information in there. The other thing you can also do is you can export this. So let me show you this thing. So if I export this uh, PDF from within the Moz uh, Pro, right, it is going to it is going to put it somewhere, I guess. Uh, there it is. I, I was I was wondering what happened to it. So if I open this, um, now you go. You can take this report to your, you know, you can use this for your clients, right? If you're a digital marketing company, you can send it to them. Uh, if Cash did this, it would take me four hours to put something like this together. But, uh, you know, with Moss Pro, it's like, boom, right there. So those are the main things I want to talk about. Again, the, the links, a lot of these links are going to be in the um, in the bottom of uh, the video, uh, video description, whatever. And uh, keep that in mind. The last thing I really wanted to just say is a shout out for our great team. We, um, we have about seven or eight people uh, in my company that can help you with online marketing, search engine ranking, social media, Google ads, content writing, and of course, video marketing. Please subscribe to the channel and um, we'll see you soon. Have a good day.